Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, January 22nd, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trade and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And yet again, today was a horrible day for the cryptocurrency market. Most major cryptocurrency were down roughly 10% today. And uh, yes, Bitcoin also took a major hammering today. But there are signs here of, uh, of a bottom. For example, here at 30,000, this is probably going to be the bottom of this range, at least in the in the, in the daily chart as we, we look at it right now. So we're trading underneath the 20 exponential moving average. Uh, technical indicators are looking dreadful, but they were also way, 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 um, for example, we were way significantly overbought if you look at three weeks, um, uh, three weeks back, then we were basically up here and we were significantly overbought. We were up roughly at 90 in the, in the in the RSI and that was ridiculously high. At this point we are at 40 uh, 47 and uh, we are getting at the lower end now, but I think that we are going to find major uh, resistance in this area here. So I would almost say that this is probably going to be the bottom. So we'll have the 50 moving average coming up this way. We have tested this area before, over here, here, and it looks like when we get close to this area, we have pullbacks. People are buying uh, Bitcoin at this price level. Um, I just don't see us breaking through the 50 moving average, um, even though I think that it is <laughs> significantly overvalued. I just don't. I just don't believe in cryptocurrency because I, at some point. Um, central banks will come up with their own version of an of a electronic um, uh, currency, and most of these currency uh, cryptocurrency will be basically obsolete uh, when that happens. So, well, people are making money uh, off of this right now, and the long run, I just don't see the value in this. So we may see this market drift towards this corner here and then we'll see whether or not we are going to see a break to the upside or a break to the downside and so yes 30,000 that is going to be a struggle we have the 50 moving average traveling this way um, and uh, that will basically intercept within the next uh, three to two uh, or two three trading days but if we look at the the long run if you look at the weekly chart for bitcoin um, we are still overbought we are at 74 we were up at uh, i think it was 95 when we were the highest um, you can also look at the bullish band for example to just see how ridiculously over um, over extended we were at one point uh, we have since pulled back bitcoin last time it was that overextended was back in 2017 and back then we basically fell uh, roughly uh, 50 percent in only one week now we have fallen well not that uh, well fairly around 25 percent uh, the last three weeks and uh, yes we are continue uh, continuing this fall if you look at the fibonacci retracements for the weekly chart that could also give us indication where we probably could go in the long run. So I've mentioned 30,000 where I think uh, buyers will come in and, and, and start buying. We could also fall down towards the first Fibonacci retracement that is 27,000. The 50 Fibonacci retracement is here at 22, um, around 22,650, give or take. And that will also coincide with the 20 exponential moving average uh, in, the, in the weekly chart. So this should be major support down here. And if we were to fall towards that level, then we would have repeated what basically happened back in 2017, where we basically lost half of the value 
um, and then rallied again. But the thing back in 2017, we lo it lost half of its value, then rallied almost to the top again, and then just plummeted all the way down to 3,000. So I don't really see this doing the same thing. Um, in the medium run, I think that cryptocurrencies will uh, be around in the long run. Probably not. Technical indicators for the weekly chart, they are changing. They are no longer bullish. They are significantly bearish at this point. So it's going to be excited to see whether or not 30,000 holds. If it doesn't hold, we will most likely go to 27,000 and down to 22,600, give or take. And that's where I probably will basically bottom at this market and then start rallying back to 30,000 and so on. So let's look at, uh, at Ethereum. We'll look at the daily chart first. So we can see that we fell and found major support here at the 20 uh, moving average simple because in the middle of the bullish band, 20 exponential right underneath. Um, technical indicators are looking, uh, well, more bearish every single day for this cryptocurrency. So it may well be that we'll go significantly lower. Uh, one target probably will be 1000. That's where uh, buyers will come in or just above the, the 50 moving average around here at the bottom of the bullish band, that's around 800 or 900, uh, give or take. So um, yes, things have changed. It doesn't look um, that bright for these cryptocurrencies at this moment. If you look at the weekly chart for, for E-term, we'll, we are still outside of the top of the bullish band. This was just completely overextended. We fell significantly uh, this week and we could fall even further. So we basically reached the previous highs here and then fell down. So we actually did a double, we could basically see a double top here. But if you look at the Fibonacci retracement for, for Etrum, then they give a fairly grim picture of where we could go. So I mentioned 1000 where I think people will start buying. The first Fibonacci retracements are here at 900, give or take. Second is here at 750, and the 61.8 uh, is at uh, at 600. So we could actually fall all the way down to 600 before turning around. If 50 breaks, then 61.8 will most likely be the target here. So technical indicators for the weekly chart as well are also turning around. They are very bearish. We're significantly overbought here at 87. So don't be surprised if this tumbles even further to the downside. So XRP. We'll look at the daily chart first. And as you can see, we have tumbled underneath the 20 uh, or the middle of the bullion bound. That is the 20 simple moving average. And we're trading at 0 0.2719 at this point. Um, Usually, most of these other smaller cryptocurrencies uh, follow Bitcoin and Ethereum and all the big ones. And uh, therefore, I do think that this will also tumble. If the other ones, the major one, tumble in the next few days or weeks, then this will also go even further or, or even lower. So one target uh, could be these previous lows here or the bottom of the bullish band that's at um, 0.2108. Uh, we'll see. Otherwise, this is just complete dead uh, cryptocurrency. I have no interest in basically buying into this uh, until we basically break above these two uh, moving averages and also the 50 and start trending uh, upwards. Otherwise, this here starts to look like uh, what XRP was in August, September, October, November 4, it took off. But uh, at this point, yes. Um, there's no reason even to consider enter for a short or even a buy. So let's look at uh, Litcoin. So Litcoin has also broken the 20 exponential. We are heading towards the bottom of the bullish band. So this is probably one of those uh, cryptocurrencies that are is going to turn around before uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. We are most likely going to run in the major resistant here at the bottom of the bullish band and we have the 50 moving average however if the 50 breaks that opens the door to the 200 that's down at 71 
So that will be an absolutely catastrophe for Litcoin if that were the case. So we could look at the Fibonacci retracement also in long term here. We can see that the reason why we found um, support here around uh, 132 is because this is the first Fibonacci retracement. So we had tested this several times before and we tested it yet again today and pulled back a little bit. If this breaks and the 50 moving average breaks, that opens the door to the 50, um, 50 Fibonacci retracement. And the last time we tested that was basically over here. We saw this massive move when, where it fell with 30% in one day. We fell all the way down to the 50 Fibonacci retracement and then rallied. And now again, we tested the 38.2. So technical indicators for this, uh, this uh, for Litcoin are still looking dreadful. There's a lot of room to the downside. So it will most likely depend on uh, the Fibonacci retracements here, uh, the 50 moving average and also the Fibonacci 50% here. If that breaks, we're heading all the way down to 61.8 and that's around, uh, give or take uh, this area here, I would say 100 would be a very symbolic uh, price level where people will start buying into that. But if this breaks, we're heading all the way down to the 200 moving average at 71.35. So otherwise, we could also rally from here. We did rally the last time we got close to the 50 moving average. So pay attention to Litcoin. That's probably the, the one of the uh, better trades off if you look at most of those uh, cryptocurrency compared to Bitcoin and, and Ethereum. Then Litcoin is probably the better uh, the one to invest in. So let's look at NEO. It's the Chinese Ethereum. So we fell all the way down to the 20 exponential and then pulled back quite significantly and stopped right at these previous highs here. So we're at 24.12. I don't think this is going to be the last drop for this cryptocurrency. These technical indicators are all turning around. There's a lot of room to the downside. So a break of the 20 exponential opens the door to 20 uh, dollar range and the 50 moving average down here at $18. So we can look at the Fibonacci retracements also for this and we can see that the first Fibonacci retracement is right here at the, the 20 exponential. That's probably the reason why we pull back so significantly. If this breaks, we open that opens the door to the 15. That's just about $20 range and then the 60 is at the 50 moving average and that's down at 18 point. At 38. This is probably as low as it will get if it even gets close to this. I think that massive amounts of, uh, of a buying will occur when we uh, get close to the 20 if that even, even happens. Otherwise, we have pulled back here, um, but these second indicators are looking fairly dreadful. So um, yes, we'll see uh, if the other if Bitcoin, Ethereum and so on, uh, all the other major cryptocurrencies start falling even more they will most likely drag the other markets down with them. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button so you see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.